Hey there, it's time for another 10 and 10. And then we have these beautiful hydrangeas in the backyard right now. So I thought, hey, why not do it back here? All right, so we're gonna do a little stretch warm up for the first, uh, I hope I don't get bit by too many mosquitoes out here. All right, we're gonna just stretch it out to begin with. You're gonna have your feet nice and wide. We're gonna hook those thumbs and we're gonna take it around in a little half circle and come around just kind of like just just above your head level on that half circle okay excellent so we're gonna do that for another few seconds you're just doing a little squat here so today in the 10 and 10 we're gonna do a fair amount of squatting because it's just a really great way to strengthen your legs your hips and we're gonna throw in some core stuff in there too. So for the last few moments of our little warm up here, go ahead and take it into that full circle, all up around. And when you do this, you can kind of like, oh, kind of like stretch like you're yawning, okay? Oh, just get up there. Go ahead and switch directions on that circle. Just take a moment right there at the top to just get that nice, tall long stretch like I said just kind of like when you yawn and you do a big long stretch all right I'm gonna go ahead and grab a weight you can use a weight you don't have to have a weight but we're gonna start with it today all right we're gonna go ahead and do a little lateral step squat down just gonna bring it to the chest for, to start with okay so we're gonna do a minute of these you're just doing a little lateral step and a squat so sometimes we do these where we slide over and it's more of like a lungy thing. Today we're just doing a step and squat, step and squat. We're gonna get overhead here in a minute. We're gonna get into the shoulders and the thoracic spine here in a minute. But for right now, just take that squat and keep going. Now, I'm gonna give you a little side view just so you can see we don't want the knees to be driving forward. We want to be sitting back into the heels, sitting back into the heels. Awesome. That was a whole minute. Can you believe it? All right. We're going to keep, I'm going to keep this weight. I'm using a heavier weight today. It's a 10 pounder. You don't have to have that, but if you do want to pick up a weight, this would be a good move to do it in. So we're just going to take a forward lunge, reach down and come back up. I'll show you the side view here. Forward lunge, little reach down, and come back up, okay? It is nice to have a little bit of weight if you've got something you can grab, all right? But you're just taking that opposite hand, reaching right down. You can see when I'm doing that lunge, I'm keeping that back knee pretty straight instead of dropping it down like this. Try and keep that back knee straight so you can get a little stretch going through that, that back leg. All right, time to switch. See how fast this goes? 10 minutes. Forward lunge with the other leg, reach down and come on back. That's it. Just a nice little crossover reach there and come back up. So here, because I've got a little bit of weight in my hand and I'm doing this little crossover reach here down, I'm keeping my spine nice and long and straight, okay? so that we're strengthening the core at the same time that we're doing this. In other words, we're not collapsing down here. The head's not disappearing down there toward the floor. Okay? Beautiful. What are we doing on time? We got a few more reps of this. We can do it. That's it. That back leg's staying pretty straight. Okay? Just doing a nice little lunge with that front leg. There we go. All right, guys, we're going to go back to some squats, but this time we're not doing just a lateral step. We're going to do an open step. Okay. So I'm going to do an open step squat coming overhead, open step with the other foot squat, come overhead. So in your squat, you're, if you freeze framed, you'd be in a wide stance with your toes out. Okay and we're just coming back to the center each time. Squats are great for your pelvic floor, for your leg strength. Ooh. And the way we're doing it right now, 
excellent for your core too. I'm gonna just look at my watch. You keep going, we got a few more to go. Excellent. The next move we're gonna do, I'm gonna put my weight down. Ah. Mosquitoes are everywhere here. This is good. We got it guys. Ooh. Nice, nice. Okay, actually I lied. I'm not gonna put my weight down, but <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, have one foot forward, okay? Now, I'm gonna have the weight in my forward leg hand, gonna go up with it, reach right out to you with my other hand. Going up, reach straight ahead, okay? Got one leg forward, that's the leg I'm holding the weight in or that's the leg that's going over your head, okay? And then you're just gonna take this other hand, reach straight out in front of you, right toward me, okay? Beautiful. This is a really nice way, with the mosquitoes crushing my legs right now, this is a really nice way to get your upper back doing uh, things that counteract the poor posture that many of us have when we're looking down at those screens or head just gets a little bit heavy, right? We're looking down, looking down. We gotta come out of that. All right, switch sides. Step forward with the other leg. You got the weight in the front leg hand. You're going up, reach straight out in front of you. That's it. I'm letting my hips move a little bit here, okay? I'm gonna give you a little side view. So when we go up, then I'm pulling that elbow back. Straight up, pull it back. Going straight out in front of me, pull it back, okay? So this gets the thoracic spine doing some lengthening on one side, a little rotating to the other side. This is a really good move for your upper back and to keep your shoulders nice and healthy. Wah! Mosquitoes everywhere. Woo! There we go. Nice job, guys. That's beautiful. Okay, we're going back into some lunges. So we're gonna switch hands with the weight, if you have a weight. If you don't have a weight, it's no big deal. All right, now we're gonna do a lateral lunge. Reach down and across. We're gonna come back, come straight up overhead. Okay, so before our second move of this 10 and 10 was a lateral step with a squat, okay? This is a lateral lunge. Glide those hips right over there. Different move, different muscles. We got it. Nicely done. Oh my goodness. I love using one heavy weight at a, uh, with these types of exercises because when we have just one heavy weight going up overhead, it's a really nice core strengthener, okay? And we don't have as much tendency to over arch the back with two heavy weights going overhead. This is just a really nice strategy for your posture and your core. All right, oh my God, my legs, mosquitoes. All right, switch sides. We're going to lateral lunge, reach down, come right up overhead. Reach down, come right up overhead. You got it. Keep that glide going. Excellent. <laughs> if you're outside, bath the mosquitoes. There we go. It was just so pretty out. I had to come out and do it. Nice job, guys. That lateral lunge, reach down and across. You're keeping your spine nice and long and strong, okay? We don't wanna disappear down here. By keeping your back long and strong, you're strengthening your core and all those spinal muscles with this exercise, okay? Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna do one more, <laughs> one more move here. And this is going to be, get your feet set in a wide position, okay? All we're gonna do is swing and swing. This is the last move for the 10 and 10 today. So we did a lot of squats, we did some lateral lunges, and we did some thoracic spine and shoulder work. You hit a lot of stuff today. Keep that going. I love that swing, okay? It's like if you've ever done kettlebells, it's kind of like a kettlebell swing. 
you're getting down into a squat pop those hips up kind of pop them forward a little bit give yourself a little power there we go don't let your knees drive forward though right we want to sit back into those heels oh that makes the hips work there we go we'll do about three more there's three two and one beautiful all right guys that's the 10 and 10 today give it a try you don't have to have a weight but if you do grab it give yourself a little extra boost all right guys have an awesome rest of the day